Hey! Today we're going to look at how to connect a service or app or device to IFT. We're logged in and on the home page. Let's go to our username and click services. When you sign up for IFT, we automatically connect a few things based on the information you use to make your account, like your time zone and email address. We also connect you to some things like our own service, which can update you about new applets or apps on the platform. We also connect you to RSS feed space and the weather in case you want to make or turn on applets that draw on helpful information from those sources. But that's just a start of what IF can do. Let's explore more. Maybe we signed up for IF because we heard it works with Instagram. Let's search and see what's up. We're on the service page and can see a bunch of applets that all work with Instagram. This one looks really rad. Sweet, no more ugly links in our tweets. So let's turn it on. Now here's where we connect the two services that will make this applet work. Let's click OK. It takes us to Instagram where I'm already logged in and can just click to authorize. Next stop, Twitter. I'm logged in here too, so I'm just going to click to authorize. Awesome, we're back to the applet and it's turned on. We can see it under My Applets too. Let's click Services from here. Now that we've connected them, we can see that Twitter and Instagram have both joined the party. In the future, that means we don't have to reauthorize IF to use any of the services here we've already connected. For example, let's look at how easy it is to turn on this cool Instagram email digest applet. Just click and done. We can see it sitting under my applets with our other Instagram applet. Here's a few more things to think about as you start to connect your apps and devices to IF. Because the authorization process is owned by the app or device you're trying to connect, it might look different for each one. You can see clicking connect on Evernote looks different from clicking connect on Amazon Alexa. And some services might not require any authorization at all because they're not linking to a specific account that you own. Giphy is a great example of this and one of my favorite services, by the way. So let's recap. When you sign up for IFT, some services are automatically connected based on the information you give us. You can connect a service while turning on an applet or from the services page. Every auth screen might look a little bit different because we partner directly with the apps and devices you use. And some services on IFT don't require authorization because they don't link into a personal account. Okay, go forth and connect all the things. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more short IFT tutorials. Thanks for watching!